a lot of and who lands the first hit when someone's above them. I feel oh, like. for sure. And looks like we're starting right on Merchant Port. And it looks like Turk yeah. is the one to first get the first engage. And yeah. geez, now, that's... I'm, I'm kind of surprised that uh, Jabski let this happen because this this stage, while it is neutral heavy, like Palm in particular, as, as much as the platforms help here, they there's kind of like a lot of open space and Raster can just kind of do whatever. This definitely seems like an interesting choice, but it looks like it's pretty easy oh, wow. so far. Up tilt, up tilt, dare spike, slipstream, dare. Great DI there on the scraw to not die to it. Scraw. Uh, <laughs> oh, and again. Oh, that might. Yep. Na oh, the clip, the clip of the NATO. The last hit. That's when he just of like. Court? Tork is kind of on fire right now. Now, Tork is playing with uh, with a lot of aggression and a lot of passion right now. Oh, there, there's the fully charged Vince, just unable to be knocked back by attacks. I feel like, oh NATO! no. I feel like what Tapski's doing in this matchup that's really getting them in trouble is that he's always approaching Tork above Tork. And then Torque just immediately up airs and just finds a conversion off of it. Oh yeah, like you, you never want to be above Raster in any situation, really. It just sounds like a bad idea. I'd like to see a lot more grounded things from Tapski here in this matchup. Especially if they can find a down strong just in the middle of somewhere here, just to even up the, the stock count. Because I feel like that's the one way they're going to be able to like catch Torque off guard. Yeah. And right now we're getting to the point where uh, raw hits are going to be up. Oh, yep, there it is. There's the upper. Okay, well, back. Currently uh, a, a stock behind, but like Tabski known to just kind of even up the playing field, even from like a heavy disadvantage. But Torque known oh, to get no. absolutely a lot out of just one hit. Oh, wow. Vince so coming getting clutch eaten, there. And, Vi and Vince is grabbing Torque in that scenario. Yeah, Torkov thing to just throw the slipstream away from Tabski now. Just keep that to just keep that momentum going. Ooh, forward air and yeah, no, as we're seeing, like Torque's off stage. Tabski's just gonna keep hitting with those forward airs. Throw notes, hit forward air, win game. That's how Palm works. But I feel like the biggest adjustment that Tabski's made so far is that when they're attacking Torque now, they're always putting themselves below Torque. And that's yeah, for sure. that's where you want to be, and it's it's been a really solid like fine adjustment that I hope carries out through the set. What? I can't believe Vince grabbed there. Okay, Vince. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> and Torque finding the first game of the set. The man is on a mission to get to Grand Finals. Hmm. Yo, Torque Sweep? Imagine. Uh, but yeah, game two on uh, Forest, Forest Floor. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this pick versus someone like Torque. I definitely don't. <laughs> Be because of situations like that, like... You yeah, that, that was the almost a uh, Enough steal. room to both run at you and land hitboxes to put you in the blast zone early. It just feels like a bad idea. Although Tapski, you know, evening it out, making it work a lot better than we expected. Going for a lot of the uh, note, note Vince uh, fair shenanigans. Oh no. Oh wow, Torque option to just follow the DI rather than just go for it. Oh! oh. Whoa! Whoa! Great okay. catch there by Torque. That looked a little weird. Tapski like, was far enough from the, the wall to not be able to. Uh, to be able to check that. You know, I wouldn't have been surprised if Torque just died from that, just because of the way it sent him. Okay, so constantly every time, like, Tabski's throwing up Palm, right, they're always going for a fair. I feel like a DI mix-up in the form of, like, up air or up strong might be better here. Up air, up strong. Even just, like, wave landing on the plat and down stronging, because, you know, Torque likes to oh, approach yeah. you, I feel like it would be really solid in this situation. Interesting scraw there. And it looks like we're back to even. 
This uh, counter pick actually working out a lot better than Tapski than we thought. Seems like it. Oh, there's the parry. And Torque just running face first in the vents. Come, I mean, child, some... come to my beloved arms. <laughs> Sometimes that's just the nature of playing against Palm. Oh, great speaking, clap there. Speaking of Palm's nature, uh, we got Palm dying at 80% because he used that light. Ooh, the up tilt? Oh. Oh. I would have screamed if Torque landed that. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I mean, either way, it was either going to be an SD or some or something crazy. And oh, there's wow. the up air call out that we were looking for up earlier. Yeah. And right now, it's just kind of back to even. But uh, Torque at a real at, at a pretty healthy percent, and the uh, tab ski. One good hit away from just absolutely losing their stock. Oh, but a great find there. This is a oh, wow. lot of damage what? coming in from Tapski. No, I couldn't tell that was just like a read or anything, but that was just oh really smart. Oh my god, and we're just, Vince, there. I, Vince just oh, wow. the great equalizer of the set. We're at even percents. Yeah, no, like, Tapski like is next, taking the lead back. The next hit, one of these people, oh, one of these players lands? It's probably going to determine... Like the next clean hit, yeah. Them. Up air? Oh no! No! Oh, no! To the, the game hit? stealer. The game stealer. You know, sometimes you just get rastered. Yeah, sometimes you do just get rastered. And Tabski opting to just run it back. I don't. I don't blame him. No, this is the time where I think running it back makes sense because of how close that set was. You clearly adapted a lot of the problems you had from the first game, and you've learned okay, a lot. That, from... that was a cool little bit of movement Ooh. with the uh, no field. I'm glad to see more problems using that. Oh no 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 no! Torch just keeps finding these early kills earlier and earlier with every set. I thought that was gonna be another kill. I was gonna be like, what the heck is this? Whoa! Okay, Vince. This game breaks a lot. <laughs> nice pair, not gonna quite take it yet. Again, I feel like throwing for up air more might, might help more because it mixes up DI and causes a really bad angle. Nice down strong. And there's there's the down strong punish. I feel like there's not been enough of that when it can catch Ooh, out Rasta. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh whoa, my god. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, okay, Tabski. Okay, Tabski. Okay, Tabski. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. Fair. Not gonna quite land. Down. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh my I'm God. missing the straw. That's Spaghetti. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take Ooh, that. Great find there by Torque. Oh, oh wow. and an early yeah, okay, kill. Gonna take it. And just like that, back to even. I feel like that's just been the nature of this set specifically, where it's just these like last stock scrambles, and who can ever compose themselves better? For sure. Has always just found themselves in such a better position. It looks like Tapski's on the roll with that right now. Yeah, but Ooh, Torque can fire back at any point. moment. Oh, the reverse hitbox twice. I do Ooh, like oh. that adjustment by oh. Torque. They've started okay. to dash back to mix up Tasky's approach. Yeah. I mean, all you gotta do is land one, one hit. Oh, wow. Tried to catch the position. Oh, oh no. no! And Torque with another 30. And Torque oh, sitting top clean eight. in Grand Finals. The bird Torque, in Grands. Torque in Grand Finals. That's something I never thought I'd, I'd say. That's awesome.